hey hello welcome back to the channel in this video we're going to see about balancing chemical equation so previously we have seen about uh, how to write a chemical equation what is a chemical equation and what is the difference between a chemical reaction and an equation so now we're going to see about balancing chemical equations so first uh, according to law of conservation of mass mass can neither be created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction so mass is nothing but it refers to the number of atoms only when you are considering a chemical uh, equation okay so the number of atoms or molecules present in it okay we will not be able to create that or it cannot be destroyed okay so the total mass of the elements present in the products which we will be writing it the equation of a chemical reaction has to be equal to the total mass of the elements present in the reactants which we will be writing in the left hand side so both the left hand side and the right hand side should be having equal number of atoms or molecules okay so the number of atoms of each element remains the same before and after a chemical reaction okay so both the sides it should be equal okay that is what we are calling it as balancing chemical equation so even though if you are having an equation which is unbalanced we need to balance it by adding the atoms to the chemical equation okay <clears throat> now let us consider a word equation okay so zinc plus sulfuric acid gives us zinc sulfate plus hydrogen so this is a word equation now and you know that this is reactants and these are the products right so now uh, let us try to write it in the uh, equation with formulae okay so i'm going to write the symbols and formula zinc plus sulfuric acid h2 so4 gives zinc sulfate ZnSO4 plus hydrogen <clears throat> okay so this is the uh, equation with formulae right so now uh, you just try to uh, find out whether this equation is balanced or not okay how many uh, zinc atoms are present in the reactants it is one and in case of products it is again one okay so zinc now it has been balanced here right so here also it is only one and here also it is only one okay so zinc has been balanced now next let us move on to uh, hydrogen okay so when you are considering hydrogen here it is h2 and again here also it is h2 okay in case of left hand side it is two hydrogen atoms okay and in case of right hand side also it is again h2 so hydrogen is also balanced okay now let us move on to the next atom uh, let us consider sulfur now okay so when you are considering sulfur here one sulfur atom and in here also it is one sulfur atom so this also has been balanced next moving on to oxygen here it is o4 and uh, here also it is again o4 so completely when you are considering this all the atoms present in this equation are balanced that means left hand side is equal to right hand side okay the very important thing uh, which you need to have in your mind is always while balancing an equation uh, you cannot add molecules in an equation okay you can just add or you can increase the number of atoms present in the equation but you cannot increase the number of molecules for example let us consider h2 okay h2 is a molecule and you can consider only hydrogen that is one hydrogen so if it is molecule one hydrogen is been combined with another hydrogen atom okay so there exists a bond between them okay now when it is only one h it is just one hydrogen atom that's it 
okay so if there is a need to balance this kind of things for example if it is h2 and here it is 4h okay there occurs a situation where you have got h2 in the left hand side and 4h in the right hand side okay so first let us write the structure for this h2 what happens h being combined with another h if it is 4h four independent hydrogen atoms okay now if you need to balance this here it is four hydrogen atoms okay already it is four hydrogen atoms you cannot reduce the number here okay keep that in your mind as i told that we can uh, increase the number of atoms i didn't tell that we need we can decrease the number of atoms okay we can always increase the number of atoms but we cannot decrease it okay don't think that sir uh, like here it is h2 okay so i can make it two here no okay that cannot be done you can increase the atoms so what i am going to do here it is four hydrogen atoms here it is only h2 okay directly you cannot change the number here if you are changing the number as h4 then you you are doing something to the molecule you are increasing the number of molecules so that will never happen so what i am going to do i am going to add a number here that is 2 so 2 h2 if i write 2 here what happens another h2 molecule will be formed so now totally i have got four hydrogen atoms and here also it is four hydrogen atoms the only difference is here it is existing as two h2 molecules and here individual hydrogen atoms okay so always keep this in your mind this number can never be changed okay for all the types of atoms i'm telling okay now let us take an example okay and uh, we'll try to balance the equation so i n f e plus h 2 o gives f e 3 o 4 plus h 2 okay so first let us consider the maximum number of atoms which is having the maximum number of atoms it is oxygen okay so in the left hand side there is only one oxygen and in right hand side you have got four now what shall we do we can add four here right we can add four to this particular compound but if it is h2 okay o is not existing independent okay it is a part of h2o compound or h2o molecule okay so when i am adding the number i cannot add only to oxygen okay what shall we do we need to add the number in this particular place for the whole compound we need to add the number okay so it will be 4 h2 this 4 applies to hydrogen and as well as it is applying to oxygen okay you cannot add the numbers to the atoms individually present in a compound okay so because h2 is a compound individually for oxygen alone you cannot increase the number for the whole compound you need to increase that also you need to keep in your mind if it is existing as an element separately you can increase directly okay so now it is 4 h2o fe3o4 so here it is 4 oxygen and here also it is 4 oxygen now oxygen is being balanced okay 4 4 next let us consider hydrogen okay so hydrogen you can see it is h2 that means two hydrogen atoms which is existing as a molecule here it is 4 h2 okay what is the difference between this 4 h2 and h2 h2 means one hydrogen atom combining with another hydrogen atom if it is 4 h2 likewise this is 1 h2 this is 2 h2 3 h2 and 4 h2 so totally how many hydrogen atoms will be there here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so totally 8 hydrogen atoms are there here okay so what you need to do you need to bring 8 here 
how will you bring as i told you cannot change this number but you can add number in this particular region so you can add another four here so if you're adding four here again the here also it will become eight hydrogen atoms 4h2 4h2 they are balanced okay so i am going to add four here and then uh, oxygen and hydrogen we have done we will move to iron so here it is fe3 and here it is fe okay so i need to bring three here okay so where should i mention the number three it will be in this particular place three fe okay so iron also has been balanced iron three three what is the difference here it is existing as element 3fe and here it is existing as a molecule okay fe3o4 okay now let us write the uh, complete balanced equation 3fe plus 4h2o gives fe3o4 plus 4h2 this will be the balanced equation okay so when you are trying to balance an equation no come directly you cannot write the balanced equation roughly you need to write the equation twice or thrice okay uh, like as you are practicing it will become easy now the next very important thing is uh, when you are writing a balanced equation you can add uh, some more things to this equation what is that you can mention the physical states of the elements whichever you have taken okay like in which state you have taken whether you have taken in solid or liquid or you are considering it as a gas that you can mention here okay so solid you will be writing it as yes liquid you will be writing it as l gas g and if you are taking some uh, substances which has been mixed with water and if you are using it as a solution that you can write it as aqueous that is a q okay now in this case fe is being taken as solid so i am writing it as yes okay in this way you are supposed to write h2o is being taken as gas that is water vapor so g and fe3o4 you are getting it as yes again solid and 4h2 is again gas so now we have got a complete balanced equation okay so this yes g and the physical state uh, gives us the information in which state actually they are existing okay so this is the complete balanced equation now this is the challenge for you aluminium plus oxygen gives aluminium oxide sodium oxide plus water gives sodium hydroxide so first write down the chemical formula for all these things and then try to balance it and try to find out the physical state of these uh, elements or if it is a compound at room temperature okay and then mention it okay finally thank you all have a great day and happy learning